Today, we will talk about Minecraft tips and tricks. After so many years of updates and evolution, Minecraft has come really far from its humble beginnings. What started out as a passion project has turned into one of the biggest gaming franchises in existence. With how complex Minecraft has become, newcomers may need a little guidance to figure out some of the intricate details of the game. Here, you can learn about some tips that even seasoned players may not know. It's important to keep in mind that even if you are aware of these points, there are others who are still learning. Now, let's get into some tricks that you may not know yet. Minecraft has been an incredibly popular game for several years. The game has a beautiful procedurally generated world where you can build a house and a farm as well as have pet animals. But the world of Minecraft is pretty hostile as it is filled with zombies, creepers, and other enemy mobs that will attack you. Besides these, there are many bosses in the game including Warden, Ender Dragon, Wither, Elder Guardian, and others, which have a huge health bar and can deal a lot of damage. 1. Zombies and Turtle Eggs Lastly, let's go over zombies and turtle eggs. This may sound like a punchline to a bad joke, but zombie variants are all attracted to these little eggs. By zombie variants, we mean normal zombies, husks, drowned, zombie villagers, and zombified piglins. With this in mind, turtle eggs are great within mob farms. For example, you can use a turtle egg in a zombified piglin gold farm. When the egg is in the center of a spawn platform, the zombies will head toward it. If you place a hole just before the eggs, the mob will fall to its death and drop some gold. If you are having too much difficulty with hostile mobs, such as a zombie or a creeper, or can't find any food to eat, you may be able to set the world difficulty to peaceful. When you change to peaceful mode, hunger and health will quickly regenerate, the hunger bar will never decrease, and all hostile mobs will instantly despawn. However, this is a controversial move. In a pure survival game, many players will consider it to be cheating which takes away much of what they see as the challenge and fun of Minecraft, especially when used as a panic button. That said, it's better than a Rajaquit, and Minecraft is meant to accommodate many different styles of play. When the point of your own game is more about construction or artistic builds than about surviving the monsters, peaceful mode becomes very helpful. It can also be used as a training mode to learn the game controls and get used to the Minecraft world. 2. Locking a map Maps are a great way to navigate the world around you, but you can also use them to make epic art. Essentially, maps serve as the canvas for pixel art. Once you remove the blocks from the ground though, the map will update and change. By adding a glass pane to the map, you can lock it in place. This is helpful if you want to document your base's progression over time. Additionally, it's helpful for those who are making several map art pieces on the same overworld surface. 3. Personalized Dog Collars It's a good idea to tame a group, rid, army of dogs to hunt with. They are great in combat and can help turn the tide in your favor. However, you may want to give them all different names and differentiate them further. You can easily do that by changing the color of their collar. Simply get a die for the color you want and right-click on the dog. You now have a customized dog collar in Minecraft. 4. Milking a Mushroom Mushrooms are a special type of cow that are exclusive to the mushroom biome, which we mentioned above. They are similar to regular cows, and you can even milk them, except you won't get what you expected. Instead of milk, you get mushroom stew. This can be quite useful, as the stew can restore some of your hunger. If you find yourself in a mushroom biome, then, try milking one of these red cows. 5. Sneaking Swiftly Crouching is a useful way to expand your movement options. By crouching, you can walk a little bit off the edge of a block, and you can't fall. This is ideal when you're building a bridge-like structure. We all know this, though. The real tip comes with the Deep Dark update. If you took a break from Minecraft and came back to the game, then you are in for a treat. With a swift sneak enchantment, you can crouch and walk extra quick, allowing you to place blocks or flee from the Warden's territory in a timely manner. 6. Don't destroy mob spawners Enemy spawners can be extremely frustrating. They spawn enemies into the vicinity until you get tired or are defeated. Unless, of course, 
you are able to destroy them. However, there is another option. Just place torches all around the spawner. Most players put one on each vertical side and on the top of the spawner. But it also works if you place them around the room, since it's about the fact that there's a light source present. Spawners do not respawn, so it will be gone forever if you destroy one. 7. Another way to fight a blaze. The blaze is a powerful mob in the nether. They can be a tough enemy to beat through conventional methods, and their fire blasts can also knock you into the lava, eliminating you instantly. The blaze mod is weak to snowballs, so you should take as many of them as possible. Using snowballs from afar is a safer way to defeat the blaze. It's not the most efficient, but it will ensure your safety. 8. Placing doors underwater. Whenever you go on a trip underwater, be sure to take at least one door with you. They can help you breathe underwater for a longer period of time. By placing a door on a block, it creates an air bubble that you can stand in. Rather than drowning to death, you can stand in your weird rectangle of air and catch your breath before setting out again. 9. Become a cat person. Cats are a cute addition to Minecraft and made for nice pets. However, it's more than just having a cat as a pet. They also serve an important function. Creepers are very scared of cats. If you have enough cats around your house, then creepers will avoid you at all costs. It's the best way to ensure that you won't run into any explosive surprises when doing some farming or building. 10. Get some bodyguards. It's a good idea to get some extra help to protect your house. To do so, you can create an iron golem. This mob is made by placing iron blocks in a T-shape, as shown above. Once summoned, the iron golem will defend you against hostile mobs that are nearby. Overall, the golems are powerful and durable perfect for standing guard. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go please, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank for watching.